available from both cars. The body is reminiscent of the 924, but has been beefed up to look meaner. But at Porsche, form always seems to follow function, and the macho styling of the 944 translates directly into better handling. The 944 engine is actually half of the 928's V8 engine. Porsche engineers bisected the 5-liter all-aluminum V8 and came up with a 2.5-liter 4. To enhance the smoothness of the comparatively large four-cylinder engine, they also employed counterbalancing shafts. The result is a very smooth engine that delivers 143 horsepower. However, Tony Morris didn't feel that was quite enough for a $35,000 car. I do feel the car would handle much better and has the potential to handle better with a turbo. I do believe that Porsche will bring this car out in maybe two years time with a turbo. It is a nice road car. That will make it a perfect road car. With the power it has at the moment and the handling packages on the car, standard equipment, the car handles very neutrally. There's no understeer, no oversteer. You can actually drive the car into the corner very fast and get out in reasonable condition. The Porsche marketing people have had a difficult time overcoming the public's perception that the 944 is really just a gussied up 924. The car performs much better than the old 924. In the handling department, it's much better. And the wheels, the tires, they've really gone to town and I really think that Porsche's midline hopes of the car are very high. And I would praise them for their efforts so far. $35,000 is an awful lot of money to spend on an automobile. But when you compare the 944's price to those of other cars in the Porsche lineup, it begins to look positively bargain basement. I'm very impressed with the car. If you have $35,000 to spare, I would suggest you test this car. With a Porsche Turbo at a 10, I would give this car a 7.9. I think the price justifies the end as far as the rating goes and the actual handling package in the car cannot be faulted. $60,000 is a lot of money no matter which way you look at it. However, for value for money and for retaining its value, it's very tough to beat a Porsche as I'm sure all Porsche owners will agree that trade-in value is always very high. It's a class automobile and I take the class price. It is high, but I'm sure if you drove the car, you'd feel it would be justified. The Porsche 911 Carrera Cabriolet, an exciting sports car in the true sense of the word for those who can afford it. Our thanks to Westminster Volkswagen Porsche Audi for supplying us with the test car, and of course to Tony Morris of Circuit Tire. We'll be back next week with another edition of Auto Check on Consumer Retorts. For Vancouver, I'm David Kincaid.